Two Sundays ago, it rained 5.8 inches of rain here, and I don't believe I had any runoff. Fritz Durst is a sixth generation farmer in Cape Hay Valley. It was just the erosion was so terrible. And I'm reading my great grandfather's diaries in 1875. He was having to fill in the erosion scars on the sides of the hills. And he was just using a mule, plowing with a mule, but he had erosion. So we've spent over 115 years eroding our soils and no-till offered us an opportunity. No-till farming, it's a hands-off approach to allow the earth to nourish itself without disturbing the soil. But when we started no-tilling, our biggest problem was the ground was so hard that the, the, the no-till drill would not penetrate the soil. Today, that is not a problem at all. Grazing cattle and their byproduct, yes, poop, is to thank. Uh, animal feces are really important for the soil biology. The more organic matter you get, the, um, the more resistant your soil is to compaction. And the less compact the soil is, without being completely exposed, the more CO2 it can absorb. Yes, the same CO2 contributing to greenhouse gases leading to our climate change. The thing is some people doesn't believe in facts or science because living in California, eh, no doubt, you know, you have eh, more eh, drought, more fires every year. Alicia Del Blanco is a grain researcher at UC Davis. Each season she crossbreeds grain to find the most resilient crop to withstand climate conditions. Genetic resistance is the best way. And you don't, you don't use pesticides. The farmers have to choose which crop to grow because they don't have water for all the crops. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's obvious and we have to switch to crops that don't require so much water. California's climate has made it one of the best places for growing diverse crops. So many farmers have switched from native agriculture like wheat, barley, and agave and transitioned to high profit crops like almonds. And you know, we were world renowned for some of our cereals for decades. And we switched away from grains and we're letting somebody else raise that. But some of the quality that you can get here is you can't find it elsewhere. With only about six and a half inches of rainwater in the 2019-2020 water year, many agree we need to find ways to improve our climate change situation. But it worries me that there are people who doesn't understand that we are going in that direction. You know? It's very dangerous. We don't have planet B. Maybe the billionaires can travel that, but we, 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 will, we will stay here, so it's better to take care of this. And I think that's the way forward. We have to be one with nature. We can't be us or them.